Good day grade lemons. Welcome to your last lesson on week number nine. In this lesson we're going to be talking specifically about dispersion forces. Now you might be going, hey I haven't heard about dispersion forces before. That's because they're just another name for momentary dipole forces. So dispersion forces are also called momentary dipole forces and you can choose which one you'd like to refer them to as. Okay so let's look at this little video. Last but not least, we need to talk about dispersion forces, also known as van der Waals forces. Bonding can occur between nonpolar molecules, but it's very, very weak. And this is the reason why. Here's hydrogen, and it's forming a covalent bond with another hydrogen. So it forms H and an H. We have to remember that these electrons here, which are being shared, are moving around constantly and they look something like this and this is why you see this electron cloud because these electrons here are randomly moving around this is important when it comes to dispersion forces the reason being if I can stop this at any point and these electrons will be in different positions and what they can do is set up what's called an instantaneous dipole which are created for just milliseconds. But this instantaneous dipole here now will give this side of the hydrogen a very slight negative charge and this side of the hydrogen a slight negative charge here, which means that the negative is on this side of the molecule, which creates a very slight positive on this side of the molecule. And this is what we're talking about. We've got the electrons on this side here, which creates a delta negative on this side of the molecule and a very slight delta positive on this side of the molecule. But this allows the attraction between different molecules. So if we have another hydrogen molecule appear and the same instantaneous dipole set up here where the electrons are all on one side of the molecule, we get a negative on this side, we get a delta positive on this side. This delta positive and this delta negative will attract just for a millisecond, but they will attract to one another. And this is called a dispersion force. And this is enough for molecules to attract to one another. So what happens here, we're talking about an asymmetrical distribution of the electrons. Here's the nucleus. All the electrons happen to be on one side, which means you get a slight negative um, or partial charge on one side of the atom, and that will allow it to attract to another one. And here we have neon. So the neon can attract to each other with van der Waals forces because you get this instantaneous dipole when there's an uneven distribution here of electrons. You'll see when they do attract, all the electrons are on this side of this neon and they're all on this side of this neon, creating a slight negative on this side and a slight positive on this side. So with intermolecular bonding, it's important to remember that it occurs between molecules and it's very weak compared with covalent, ionic and metallic bonding. If you're looking at the three different types, you've got hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole interactions and dispersion forces, and these are the strongest and these are the weakest ones. Right, grade elevens, and I think that pretty much sums up all that you need to know at the moment about intermolecular forces. Please make sure, I know this is mainly a theory section, so please go make sure that you've studied it and that you've learned all the rules, you understand it. Make sure you can explain it to each of your friends, because if you can explain it, then you really, really know it very well. And then go do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.